for welcome back to this is your life and i'm queen vanche tarot and today i'll be doing a reading for the sign of scorpio all right scorpio let's get started Anything goes for Scorpio. <sighs> All right, Scorpio. Um, you got six cards that came out. Um, it's a little interesting because, um. Three of them came out face down, as you can see, and the other three came, when I said, was there anything else, the other three came faced up, and um, you have fear, you have patience, and you have purpose, and at the bottom of the deck, you guys have freedom, okay? So let's see what's going on with you. Self-esteem, gratitude, peace. Okay. So, Scorpio, for some of you guys, um, with self-esteem being right here in fear, some of you guys could be dealing with something internally um, that could be bothering you guys. With freedom being here, you want to be released from it. You no longer want to um, deal with it. You guys are trying to find peace. In order to find your purpose or you guys are trying to find purpose in order to find peace um, with patience and gratitude being right here um, whatever it is that you guys are fearing um, you don't have to because eventually you guys are gonna um, get where you guys need to be right now um, the fear that's stopping you guys from having your biggest potential in life is something that you guys are dealing with inside. It could have something to do with the past failures in life or whatever the case may be. But you guys don't have to feel that way because um, with freedom being here, you can release all of that. You guys, uh, Scorpio, you guys have a purpose. Um, you guys are seeking peace. Just don't let the fear get in the way of that, okay? So I'm just going to read the, what the card says. It says, self-esteem. I possess um, gifts of the soul that benefits me and others. Gratitude. I am thankful for life and the opportunity that it presents. Peace. I am I am a being of love and release all negative energy. And see, it's right here. You're releasing all that. Like I said, you don't have to have the fear. It's just something eternally inside with the self-esteem being right here. Okay? Um, Fear. I realize that I am I am testing my resolve to live in the energy of love. Okay. And this is where you guys are going to be able to find your purpose. I know what I, I am here to do. Okay. So whatever this um, fear that you guys, some of you guys may have be suffering from or dealing with, release it. Be free of it in order to find your happiness and your peace and your purpose. Okay. All 
All right, Scorpio. Let's use a couple of more um, oracle cards to see what else is going on with you all. Anything else for Scorpio? One more card, please. One more card, please, for Scorpio. Is there anything for Scorpio? One more card, please. Okay. Assertiveness. Now, emptiness is at the bottom of the deck. All right. Okay, so it's, it's a little interesting <laughs> still how these cards came out, Scorpio. Earlier on, you guys had the top um, cards um, faced, faced down. No, they were actually faced up. So now you guys are having the same thing again, the way these cards came out. And um, remember I said it could be something internally that you guys are dealing with that make you guys feel the way that you guys may be feeling right now. And this is only temporary. And um, you have reflection right here. So it's kind of like really step back and look at you guys' um, surroundings, the people that are around you, um, could be making your peace be unbalanced or whatever. So it could have a lot to do with those who are in your um, circle. You may have to uh, remove some people or take a break from some people in order to find your peace, all right? And you guys have assertiveness, okay? So that for me, that means you're going to have to be the one to... Um, make that move, Scorpio. And I've never really known a Scorpio to uh, not be able to speak freely, say what it is that they need to say in order to um, move forward. But for some reason, some, something is holding you guys back from speaking your mind or saying whatever, whatever it is that you need to say. Um, is it because of fear of rejection? Um, is it because you may feel like you're not in a position to, you know, say what it is that you guys need to say? Involution and awareness. Yeah. Um, I think you guys are very, uh, aware of what needs to be done. But like I said, for some reason, um, you guys are not willing to do it right now. With emptiness being here, maybe you guys may feel if I say something, I might end up being alone. Um, you, it may be you don't want to cross a certain boundary or something like that. I'm really not for sure, but we're going to um, get to the bottom of it, Scorpio, and see what's going on, okay? All right, Scorpio, so you guys got... Um, the the rose phoenix and i want to read that to you guys okay it says be bold and mighty forces will come to your aid all right the conquest of fear you guys got fear right here but like i said you guys can conquer this this fear that you guys may have okay it says today you are stepping into spiritual completion you have done the work to heal the past and are becoming more and more masterful with managing your emotions in the present okay so scorpio we know um you guys are a water sign and sometimes um um you guys water can have a lot to do with you guys emotions okay it says the future you that has all the answers and already accomplished its mission for humanity and able to send your energy across time and space for you to nourish and empower now, like a rosebud, you have fully blossomed, and like a phoenix, you are rising from the past, flying fearless into um, inspiring horizon. Like I said, I can't say for sure, like, okay, Scorpio, this is the reason why, you know, everybody's situation is different, but what I'm here to tell you is that 
you are more than capable of uh, overcoming whatever it is that you guys are currently dealing with, okay? Also, Scorpio, you guys have involution. And early on, I was saying this is something inside, something internally with self-esteem being here that's um, that could be bothering you guys. And it says, um, involution, it says the mind acts like an enemy for those who do not know how to control it. OK, so like I said, um, Scorpio, um, you guys are a water sign and sometimes it can be a little hard to control you guys' emotions or whatever. But sometimes the mind can play tricks on us. And it's up to you guys to realize what is and what isn't, Scorpio, okay? Reflection, Scorpio. It says everything you see, everything is reflection of your inner world, your thoughts and intentions, okay? So like I said, you guys have to step back and look around and see what's going on to make you guys feel, some of you guys that may feel emptiness, some of you guys that may feel fear. Step back from a moment, for a moment, and just to see, what could this be? Why am I feeling this way? Um, I can, I'm pretty sure you guys don't always feel this way. So for there to be a certain change in the way that you guys may be feeling about yourself, you have to ask yourself, what's different? What has changed, Scorpio? Scorpio, you all, you guys also got um, this card. It says Kentushki, okay? And this is Japanese, all right? And it says everything has beauty, but not everyone sees it. And this could go back to you guys where the self-esteem card had came out in the first place in the beginning of you guys' is, um, reading, all right? When we perceive something as damaged or broken, the initial stock of something Beloved no longer being what it was can cause a residual reverberation that we hear in our hearts, okay? Feeling attachment to affect in nostalgic ways of longing can cause deep suffering and shatter our emotions, okay? Um, Scorpio, now I don't think this is for um, all of you Scorpios. But for these cards to come out the way that it is, some of you Scorpios um, could be dealing with something, you know, pretty darn deep. And I said that um, early on. So this is something, you know, that could have something to do with you guys' past. All right. We all have a, a past and a lot of times it's not always pretty. OK, but that doesn't mean that you guys can't um, move forward. That doesn't mean you guys can't um, be your best version. OK, and um, you guys have assertiveness. All you have to do is continue to put in the work. All right. All right, Scorpio. Cycles wanted to come out. <clears throat> so I kept saying this could be something from your past. Some of you guys may have to break a, uh, a cycle. Because cycle was the first card when I started shuffling that tried to come out, although it didn't. Because this is something that you guys need to break. All right. So we have um, give it time. Everything is um, in divine timing. Let things go and let things flow. Okay, so give it some time. Um, you guys have patience uh, with your first um, cards that came out, um, Scorpio. Give it some time, all right? You guys could be dealing with uh, an air sign, okay? You guys could be in communication with an air sign, and we also have water coming out. So, yeah, so, um, Scorpio, we have air signs right here, Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. And it says, give it some time, and we have communication, okay? Um, and we have water signs. And, Scorpio, you are a water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. So, you guys could be um, either, A, talking to somebody that could be an air sign regarding what's going on with you guys, or, B, it could be an air sign 
that you could be dealing with who could probably have you going through whatever it is that you're currently going through right now that is not that is not good for you. So it could be an air sign that you're talking to that's helping you through this, or it could be an air sign uh, that you're dealing with who's um, making things a little harder for you, okay? And at the bottom of this deck, we have let go, make room for new beginnings, and it's on your way to you now, Scorpio, all right? So that's that's good. That's good, Scorpio. That's, that's much better. Now, let's jump into the tarot and see what the tarot has to say, Scorpio. Now, we're going to say it all of that. Let's see. Universe, give me some cards to clarify what has been said early on for Scorpio. Can I please get some cards for Scorpio? Um, the Six of Cups wanted to come out. It didn't, but it wanted to. We got the higher thing. It says, know and understand your deeper values and bent, uh, beliefs, um, Scorpio. Number five could be significant. Scorpio, we have the Knight of Cups. It says, follow your heart. Treat others with love. All right. Follow your heart. Remember I said it, it, you may not want to say something because you may feel like, um, you know, somebody may not be able to take it right or it may come out the wrong way. But the universe is asking you to go ahead and do you, Scorpio, with the, the Knight of Cups being right here. All right. If your heart is saying, hey, speak on it, then that's what it is that you need to do. OK, then the Ten of Swords just came out, Scorpio, and it says it is finished for the better or worse. OK, so if somebody has backstabbed you or something like that, it's done and it's over with, Scorpio. You can move forward. OK, there's no need to feel empty. You got to let it go. Give it time. Patience. OK. What else for Scorpio? Let me get some more cards for Scorpio for confirmation, please, universe. Ace of Cups, all right? Open your heart and receive the emotions around you, okay? You have um, overwhelming and you have new feelings, okay? So with the um, Ace of Cups coming out, um, Scorpio, um, you guys may have been overwhelmed. But like I just said, with this Ten of Swords coming out, all that is done and over with. And you have new feelings, all right? So things are definitely about to get better for you, Scorpio. Whether you believe it or not, it is about to get better for you. Temperance just tried to fly out. I'll put it back in there, though. Can I please just get one more card? Universe, can I get one more tarot card for Scorpio? What else would you like Scorpio to know moving forward? Just one more card, please, for confirmation for Scorpio. What do you want this water sign to know via the tarot cards? You got the um, you get the seven of pentacles. It says, don't forget to stop and look back at your achievements. See, give yourself um, some credit, Scorpio. Like I said, it hasn't always been this way. We all have... Um, things that we encounter, but the main thing, Scorpio, is how we deal with it. So the universe wants you to know, give yourself some credit. Look at how far you have come, Scorpio. Some people don't even make it that far, okay? Some people just let it, you know, like like crabs in a bucket. They just let it, let it pull them down, Scorpio, and that doesn't have to be you, okay? Let it go and make room for new, all right, Scorpio? And at the bottom of the deck, you guys have the sun card. It's a new day. It's the beginning of something new. All right. All right, Scorpio. Let's see what's going on when it comes to you guys' uh, finances. All right. All 
sorry, I'm getting the first. When it comes to... Okay. Um, Scorpio, you got a fork in the road. Number 13. But it actually landed right here on the Ten of Swords when it says um, it is finished for the better or for the worse. So uh, when it comes to you guys' finances, they may not have had a been, you know, where they where you actually wanted it to be. Okay, with the fork in the road, maybe you went right when you should have went left. You know what I'm saying? Something like that. But that's done and over with Scorpio. When it comes to your finances, things are um, going to get better. Can I get two more cards for Scorpio regarding that? Peace. You guys got peace again. You guys got peace coming out uh, again because you guys had that in the beginning, Scorpio. So um, it says fork in the road. Uh, it is finished for the better of the worse. Okay, so you're going to have peace when it comes to your finances. So things are about to get better for you guys. Number tw number 23 could be significant. Hold on. Two more cards jumped up. Can I get one more card, please, for Scorpio when it comes to their finances? Truth be told. Aha! Uh -huh. Yeah. Truth be told, Scorpio. I don't know if you can see that, but truth be told, it's going to get better. And you do have, um, at the bottom of the deck, you do have a twin girl. So, you know what I'm saying? It, it could have been, you could have had one feet in, one feet out. Because you just really didn't know, you know what I'm saying, when it came to your finances. But I'm here to tell you that it's going to get better. Okay? Truth be told, it's going to get better. All right? I said what I said. I said what I said. Paint the town red. <laughs> I like that song. I don't even know if he's saying it. I am so old, Lord. Um, mm -hmm. More cards, please. What else can you give us with the tarot when it comes to Scorpio's finances? What else? Mm. You guys got the hermit. Okay. Enlightenment. Guidance. You guys got the magician card. So Scorpio, um, you got two major icons coming out. Can I get one more card, please, for Scorpio when it comes to the finances? You got reflection coming out again, Scorpio. All right, so Scorpio, you have the Hermit card, you got the Magician card, and then you have the Three of Wands, okay? So it says expansion, and it says moving forward, okay? It says opportunities is in progress, okay? With the Magician card being right here, you guys have resourcefulness. Um, and, and listen, um, with the Magician card right here, you guys got self-confidence, all right? So remember early on, you guys had self-esteem, you know what I'm saying? So when it comes to you guys' uh, financial uh, responsibilities, it may have been off a little bit or whatever, but it looks like it's going to get really good for you guys, okay? Is there anything else? With the Hermit card being here. You guys probably had to, and that could have been where the emptiness had came in earlier. Um, you guys probably had to reflect and see, you know what I'm saying? Uh, look here, at the bottom of the deck, you guys got the world card. You guys got the world card, um, Scorpio. What is this card? And you guys got, <laughs> you're talking about your money, uh, Scorpio. You guys got the Ace of Pentacles, prosperity, abundance, new beginnings, gain, stability, like... If it wasn't good, it's gonna get it, you know what I'm saying? It's gonna get better for you guys. All right. It's gonna get better for you guys, Scorpio. So that's really good for you guys, all right, when it comes to you guys' finances. So I want to use the Angel of Abundance cards, Scorpio, just to see what they have to say when it comes to their finances. Uh-oh. 
What else, universe? What else can you tell Scorpio when it comes to their finances? Let me get a card so Scorpio can know for sure this is for them. Shit. I got two. No, I got I got three cards. Scorpio. Um, at the bottom of the deck, you guys got detox your friendships. Okay, so remember, I said um, that maybe you guys need to take some time out to reflect about those who are around you, your circle. I said that earlier. Okay, so it says detox your friendship and your abundance um, flow. Your abundance flow is being affected by people with whom you are spending time with. So that too could have something to do with the uh, way that you guys have been feeling and wanting peace and having fear and needing to find purpose. I said that early on. It's probably just the people that you surrounded yourself with. You got deep clutter. You got deep clutter. Okay. And it says you'll feel better and more focused if you take time to clear away clutter from your life in your workspace, okay? If you guys have some things that you no longer need, it says donate it, you know what I'm saying? And then it says let go of guilt. So remember I said early on that you guys, um, I've never known Scorpio to, to hold fight a tongue when it came to anything, but you guys may have felt as if you may have been stepping your boundaries in a certain situation. Let go of guilt and do you, Scorpio, okay? And then you have raise or promotion, did I, didn't I say that early on? That your guys' finances uh, is about to get better. I said that. I said what I said. Anyway, Scorpio, let's move on to your... um. Let's see what's going on when it comes to your love life, Scorpio, okay? Okay, Scorpio. So, let's just see what's going on when it comes to your love life, all right? Um, I'm gonna use the angel answers just to start. Damn, just to start off the reading. Big happy changes. Okay, two more cards, please, Scorpio. Communicate clearly. All right, you're ready. The situation will improve. Well, all right then, Scorpio. So. With um, big happy changes coming out, communicate clearly, and you're ready. It looks like uh, some of you guys may have manifested this right here. Uh, when it comes to you guys' uh, love life, this could be the way these cards are coming out, Scorpio. This could be something that you guys have asked for. Okay, some of you guys could be in a, a relationship already, and you may have prayed for um, things to get better. It, it says the situation will improve. It says big happy changes. Uh, communicate clearly and get ready. So this is definitely something some of you Scorpios had asked for. Okay, so this could be for current relationship as well as new relationships. Okay. What else? You, it says you are spiritual, spiritual. It says connected to those who you love. Okay. You are spiritually connected to those you love. Okay. What else? That's why I said this is something that you guys could have prayed for for this card to come out like this. Okay. Uh oh. Uh oh, you will meet your soulmate when the time is right, okay? And the time has to be right, Scorpio, because it says you re you're ready, okay? One more card, please. One more card, please, for Scorpio regarding love, okay? Anything else, or is that it? All right. You got at the bottom of the deck. Stop criticizing yourself. You are perfect just the way you are. Mm -hmm. 
And then you guys have sometimes the strongest people in the morning are the people who cried all night. All right. And in a way that is that is definitely true, uh, Scorpio. Like I said, you could have definitely prayed for some some big happy changes to come into your life when it comes um, to love. All right. Maybe things hadn't always been the way that you wanted them to be. Maybe in the past you was blaming yourself for things not being the way that you felt that they should have been. But your prayers has been answered, Scorpio. For some of you Scorpios, your prayers. For those who, who have prayed for this, your prayers has been answered. And Queen Fanshe Tarot is here to tell you, baby, that it's going to be all right. So what you see, what you see, is what you get, or something like that. All right. Now let's see what the tarot has to say. Our priest is going to come out. I'm not going to come out, guys. I'm not going to take all the cards now. For Scorpio regarding their love life. Choices, wishful thinking. All right. You got the emperor, okay? Protection, authority, father figure, discipline. And this could be uh, where it says you are spiritually connected. All right. Could be someone um, that has passed on who is protecting this union. Um, with um, choices being right here, you have choices. You may have thought that um, you couldn't have choices or whatever, but they're coming. All right. You have, um, wait, which way did it come out? I think it came out this way. You guys have the three of swords right here and it says forgiveness. Okay. And it says uh, reconciliation. So like I said, so this could be for those of you who had already been in a relationship Okay, and you may be to the point where you're ready to uh, forgive because you're focusing on the good memories and not necessarily the bad memories. Okay, that's for those of you who are currently in a relationship that pray for uh, these happy changes for the situation to improve. All right, can I get three more cards, please, for Scorpio when it comes to love? Universe, what would you? Can I get one more card, please, for Scorpio? Too many. I say one more card for Scorpio, please, when it comes to love. What would you like Scorpio to know moving forward? Here we go. At the bottom of the deck, you guys have the Queen of Swords, and it says protected. It says intelligent. It says funny, and it says honest, okay? So like I said, this relationship is protected, all right? What else you guys got? Hmm. We have the Six of Wands. It says success. It says victory, triumph, and pray. Like I said, the Three of Swords coming out, you know what I'm saying? Um, things probably hadn't always been the way that we wanted it to. What relationship is perfect? But I think some of you guys are willing to um, look at, you know, how they be like your pros and cons. Not saying that we're going to put up with any type of bull crap, but you're kind of willing to look at the bigger picture and try to continue to move forward for those of you in a current relationship. Okay. You have um, prosperity and um, security and reliability. And this is something that you guys probably hadn't had in the past. And this is what's going to come towards you guys for the new relationship. All right. Ha <laughs> ha. And then we have the sun card, happiness, uh, joy, optimistic, and confidence, okay? So if you believe in what it is that you want, um, these are seeds that have been sold, Scorpio, and it's coming your way, all right? Because this is simply what it is you guys had asked for. Now, to close out you guys this reading, I want to use the uh, 
Moonology Oracle Cards. Just to close out you guys' this overall read. Two to three cards for Scorpio to close out the overall reading. Universe, what would you like Scorpio to know to close out their reading? Can I get three cards, please, for Scorpio? One. Can I get two more cards, please, for Scorpio to close out their reading? Two. Can I get one more card, please, for Scorpio to close out their reading? One more card, please. There we go. It says you have at the bottom of the deck, Scorpio, you have prosperity, lies ahead, new moon, and Taurus. All right. Now we got three cards here. What do we got? Hmm. It says, nothing is yet set in stone. Mutable moon. We have a fiery complex approaches. Full moon in Aries. All right. And um, you guys did get um, the the six of wands, which is fire when it comes to you guys' uh, love life. And you also did get the sun card which is more um, fire for you guys, all right? So a fiery complex approaches, okay? Full moon and Aries, all right? Then you guys got you and your loved ones are safe. New moon and cancer. And I said that early on, okay? Um, this uh, relationship that you guys are about to embark on um, is safe. You guys are protected. Um, keep people out y'all business. I don't know why I said that, but, uh, Scorpio, keep people out your business when it comes to, just in general, not just your love life, just in general. Um, we have this, this crab right here. And early on, I was like a crab in a bucket, you know, people try to bring you down, especially those who aren't happy with what's going on in their life. Okay. So if you got something going on good in your life, Scorpio, as much as you want to probably tell people this and that, tell it to the creator. You know what I'm saying? Tell it to the creator <laughs> because everybody, you know, is not going to be happy for you regardless. You know, they could be smiling in your face like, hey, yeah, good for you. Da, da, da. And all the time, like this motherfucker right here. You know what I'm saying? Anyway, Scorpio, with that being said, I am Queen Vonshay Tarot. Please like, share, comment, subscribe to the channel. And thank you.